Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, if I end up putting this on Twitch. Lightbringer here, and I did a kind of really long, like, two plus hour stream yesterday, or last night, last Change week, if mind, agent. we're watching this on YouTube, of Crackdown 3, which I had really high hopes for. Um, I was ultimately a little disappointed, but I have been playing alone for a couple hours now, just walking around and exploring, so I decided I would try something new. Um, I didn't call last night's thing a review, it was just a let's play with the wife, because we were really looking forward to playing this together, because we re like, Crackdown 2 holds a special place in our hearts, because... It was really the first game that we played together as a couple. Um, and we played it almost to like 100% completion, so... Shh, Mr. Dude. Um, so this is gonna be a too long, didn't watch review. Like, straight up review of this game. Um, if we want to make it short and sweet as I possibly can, I'm in like a giant lake made of this Chimera stuff, and I don't think the game's explained exactly what Chimera is. But I think that's kind of a trope the game has going. Like, every game, like, tells you bad things are happening, but then it never really explains what that thing is. Like, here it's Chimera, the last game it was what made the zombies, we don't really care. Deal with it. Uh, why is this girl against the agency? Like, why is she blowing up their stuff? I don't know. Um, player theory is the agency was making the zombies, whether they meant to or not, and she wanted to blow up the place so that they would stop making zombies. And then the agency's like, "Oh, you blew up our place. You're a terrorist." You're using those thrusters well. Good. They'll come in handy down the line. All right. Agent. While you were busy, I mapped more chemworks in the area. Okay. Too long didn't watch. Um, if you liked Crackdown 1 or 2, or you liked um, Saints Row 4's collect-a-thon thing where you could catch the skill point orb things and be able to use them and spend them and stuff, you will love Crackdown 3, because that's really all it is. Um, the problem... Like, my wife doesn't want to play this game anymore. And no, it's not my fault. Um, but legitimately, the reason she doesn't really want to play it anymore, and it took her a little while to be able to, like, articulate this, is really... This game feels like they used the same exact engine and stuff as Crackdown 2, but in Crackdown 2 you've got the flight suit, in this game it feels like they took stuff out, um, you don't get a helicopter, you don't get the flight suit, instead you're gonna get like a triple jump and these little air dashes, which you could do in um, Saints Row 4, oh crap, I done bad. Um, but yeah, I think ultimately it comes down for her to being, this game feels very samey, and other games have done it better in the past, like, decade, and the big issue with that is this game was announced, like, seven or eight years ago, and it just... It never came out, so now it feels like a last-gen game. Um, she really hated the graphics. Um, when we were playing together, the frame rate would drop. Uh, things would get really clunky to, to move around. Here, I'm not feeling the control delay I complained about yesterday. Um, but just exploring, I'm having fun. Well, 
Welcome to the headquarters of Terra Nova Logistics. Reinforcements inbound, Agent. I'm not here for that. Dispatch. We've got eyes in the sky, scanning for the agent. Threat level is a one for now. Terra Nova's officially marked you as a threat agent. That's what happens when you attack their assets. The more damage you cause, the tougher units they'll deploy to take you out. We'll track the current threat level to so getting overwhelmed and head whatever to this is. To get you off their radar. But, um, so, too long, didn't watch. If you liked Crackdown 1 and 2, you're gonna love this game. Is it worth 60 bucks? God, no. 30 bucks? Maybe. Um, if you've got Game Pass, it's free. I mean, it's 10 bucks a month, but you're not gonna need 6 months for this game to pay itself off. And that's ultimately, I think. Whoa. Where am I going? Where the heck am I? You're taking damage. I'm gonna hide. Um, but yeah. So, is it worth the full price? No. Is it worth maybe half that? Oh, jeez. Nope. I'm in a bad place. Time to go. There's no sprint, which kind of sucks to me. Yep, and I'm dead. Time for another regen. Um, but ultimately, my wife was unhappy. Um, I'm not the happiest camper. I'm having a lot of fun, but it's not worth 60 bucks. Um, it's not worth the time or the effort if you don't like Crackdown 1 or 2. Um, honestly, it feels like the guys who made the game took all the assets from Crackdown 2, a couple of ideas, like the core story or plot idea is really like Crackdown 1 on steroids. Hey, there's some bad people, and there's Syndicate, and you should stop them. Take out their lesser guys to make the big guys way easier. And you're like, wait, that's that's Crackdown 1 exactly. My wife didn't recognize it because she didn't play Crackdown 1. Uh, we hadn't met yet when that game came out, I don't believe. Um... We can cut it right off. But, um... But it feels like what they did was they made up a checklist. Uh, vehicles. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need those, because Crackdown's got some wonky vehicles. Uh, cool guns. Oh, yeah, we definitely need some cool, powerful, badass guns. Uh, everything you do making you stronger every second you play... Yeah, we, we really need that, because that is the core of the game. But then you're like... What was the point of this? Oh, I think there was a orb on there earlier, but I jumped and grabbed it. Because I'm probably a little stronger than I should be. Um, but the problem is, all those like check marks they put on the box they didn't really add anything new I feel like the only new thing they added was Terry Crews as like a playable character and like agents as a collectible is kinda cool um skills for kills agent however you choose to eliminate a threat you'll improve in that area but skills I'm not for kills remember that like, I could go back to Crackdown 2. I preferred the story in Crackdown 1. So this is kind of a mix. Um, but for everything they kept from the other two games, they lost things? Like... Ooh, that was pretty. I know! 
But like in this game, I don't get the wingsuit. I don't get. I don't get helicopters. I don't get. I don't think I get the rubber ducky grenade, which is odd since, like, even the opening cutscene kind of screams, "Hey, the rubber ducky's a thing." Like the catchphrase of the opening thing is quack quack mother and I'm like what is going on there um but yeah if you're gonna get this game either get game pass for it or wait until it goes on sale for maybe like 20 or 30 bucks um 40 I believe is pushing it um it's definitely worth if you haven't gotten game pass and you really want to try out the game it's not bad for a buck. Um, and like I've said in the video yesterday, if if you do want to see my full, like, me and the wife playing this for like two hours, we compare it to other games a lot. I just clocked a spike at nearby enforcer communications. Um, just, just watch the video from yesterday. I'll, I'll tag it in the thingamabooper. Um, but yeah, too long, didn't watch that two hour video. Crackdown 3 is fun, but it's very samey. It feels like it should have come out like a year or two after Crackdown 2, not a decade. Um, it's not really taking advantage of the next gen hardware. Um, a lot of things that we were promised they took out and instead kind of forced into like they kind of put them in this forced feeling multiplayer it's not like there's no progression it doesn't affect the game itself you need to download a secondary app just to be able to play it it's really dumb it really feels like when they were programming the game someone in Microsoft was like well these kids they all love the multiplayer and the shoot shoot bang bang kill each other we need to add that to the checklist of crackdown things and you're like I get I guess we can do that but why like it feels like they tried to put resources they didn't have into this multiplayer thing like they took things out to put them in the multiplayer hoping people would play the multiplayer for that um destructible environments eight player co-op but like just jumping around it feels good it doesn't feel nearly as clunky as it was feeling yesterday i don't know if that was because i was playing co-op or because i was trying to stream at the same time but like here, I'm recording, I'm not streaming this, and it doesn't feel like I'm not feeling that button lag that I was complaining about a lot yesterday, which did get people killed. Um, so with that, it's got my recommendation if you want to play a game and you've got a few hours to just burn off. Um, I might try and play it with my brother if you guys would like to see Get some streaming of that. Angel. That's cool. Lights out.